Steve Rockenbach, who is a traveling bar. Six, six, six. I am a fucked up prick. <laughs> I was standing there, I was like, Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> nice! 666. Yesterday, Jen had the poem that mentioned squirrel monkeys, and I thought she said squirrel monkeys, and then I thought, Skrillex monkeys. And I thought we truly evolved from Skrillex monkeys. <laughs> that explains our. Our nature, our true nature, our human nature. Nice. Now, I just opened up my computer. I had all these things loaded up to read, but I also have uh, Justin Bieber tickets. I'm um, Seat Geek. Now, Justin Bieber's touring. Now, he's coming out with his new album June 19th. You guys don't know about this. It's called Believe. <laughs> and I'm trying to get these tickets because they just went on sale today. But I was looking, and it looks like it's going to be at least $90 a ticket. I'm truly fricked up on that. I'm going to read this. Now, I used to run a Justin Bieber Twitter account. Justin Bieber fan Twitter account. It was at bieberkrazy 4 you. And these are the top three tweets as decided by me on this account. Now, I actually, I engaged a lot with the Bieber community, the Believer community, so I got a lot of going on with a lot of true Justin Bieber fans, other than myself. Would you murder someone to be Justin Bieber's baby? <laughs> Would you cut someone and watch them bleed to death to be with Justin? <laughs> Would you get your tubes tied if Justin said he would never be with you? Trick question, never say never. <laughs> <laughs> I truly have never say never 3D. I'm not, not 3D on the DVD, but I got the DVD in my book bag. If any of y'all want to get down later, this is Justin Bieber, Never Say Never. I've seen it seven times. Now, but I also just downloaded Snakes on a Plane the other day. So I've got these two movies on deck if you guys know the satanic movie night tradition. You guys got this going on in Ashland. I don't know. Is Ashland as satanic as Portland? I don't know. I went to this movie madness store in Portland. You know the movie madness? truly fucked up in there. Anyway, I went in there, they had these different sections. They had a section called Dead Teens. <laughs> they had a section called Killer Pets. They had a movie that just, the title of the movie, the whole title of the movie was Satanic. In all caps on the cover. Nice. Now, I have this ebook I did with my friend Stephen Tully Dirks in Chicago. On the cover, it's it's very rare. He's shirtless, hugging me from behind uh, in the waterfront in Chicago. It's very rare. It's called I Love Music. The URL is poemsaboutfriends.biz. <laughs> I'm going to read some selections from that. So some of this is me, and some of this is Stephen Tully Dirks. And I'm not even going to try to distinguish which one is which. They're, they're in different colors in the true ebook. I'll read some of my favorite pages. Crap in my bed. When I wake, convince me it was me who cracked. <laughs> you guys? Nice! Nice! I'm on this Buddhism shit. That's what that is. <laughs> in closing, drop me five stories onto a steel spike. In fact, gather the blood from my wound and smear it on my face and scream as I expire. <laughs> Sorry if this is embarrassing, but feed me feet curse into a woodchipper. <laughs> Make me watch my lower half as it disappears into blood and pain. <laughs> I didn't want it to ever come to this, but tie me to the back of a Jeep Wrangler and back it into the side of a brick building repeatedly until you've made street art with my blood and brain map. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Hope you have a great Friday. Have fun with your family. Set from my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> my bulb is lit, as you can see. And also, my 
dick and crack. <laughs> Fricked up! <laughs> the stranger? I'd only rather than Frank. <laughs> now, you guys know this meme known as Hipster Kitty. I mean, there's other ones. There's the Hipster Hitler and all that. Hipster Kitty, there's this kitty. It's a cat. And it <laughs> says all these slogans that are... It says when I play PlayStation, I, the only button I press is triangle. You guys know what's up? <laughs> Local bitch house, but also, see, this is truly Illuminati. I'm the first Illuminati poet. Who here already knew that I was truly the first Illuminati poet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm truly the Illuminati. <laughs> Throw your triangles off, 666. Yeah, truly though. But you know what? The new Sigur Ross is up on NPR streaming. You can listen to it on there. I truly listen to it. I'm like, this is Illuminati. I know they're not tricking me. Guess what? You play it backwards. It's not even music. It's just a cappella. This one guy saying, sang, sang, sang. <laughs> in these different voices. <laughs> <laughs> I've listened to all my music backwards just to check. Well, if I have a sense that it might be Illuminati. And then I get jacked up. I'm like, nice, found another one. <laughs> <laughs> my collection is growing. Strip me down. This is still from I Love Music. Great book. Wow. <laughs> Strip me down. Place my genitalia on a flat, hard surface. Pick up your largest rubber mallet. Nice. Now strike me so that the effect is to pop my peanut balls. <laughs> All right, nice. Now, as I scream in horror and pain, scoop the bloody mess into a pitcher. All right, not bad. But here's where it gets crazy. Make me eat it, then vomit it, then eat it, then vomit it, ad nauseum, until I beg you to kill me and my supper. <laughs> At which point, you place my head behind the back wheel of your GMC Sonoma pickup truck. Sky blue paint job, nice choice, by the way. <laughs> Do I even need to say what's next? You got it. Back over my head, popping me one last time. <laughs> Nice literature. You guys know that that is actually inspired by the romantics. <laughs> Romantic. It's so extreme. It, you know, Keats was all like, I'm fucked up! I'm in love! And I'm like, fucking pop my balls on the table. <laughs> <laughs> a, peach, a peach of heaven has descended down onto Chicago's butterfly. <laughs> That's a true haiku. I, mean, I don't know three lines anyway. It's, but it's, I mean, I'm tapping that Buddhist shit. I'm like three lines. Nice. Fucking send out. Grab me, blindfold me, stuff me in the van, drive me to the dock of the bay, pull out a long rope, and tie a tight knot around my nuts. Secure the rest of the rope to a speedboat. Chain both of my ankles to a pole on the dock. Take off my blindfold and let me watch as the speedboat as the speedboat shoots out into the bay, <laughs> violently wrenching my balls off, leaving a bloody mess on my groin as I spasm spastically in unbelievable pain. <laughs> then leave me to die on the dock. Then the next poem is rereading it. I realized that if only the ankles are chained and then the nuts attached to the bow, I would be like wrenched up and out at once because my upper body won't be secure. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> what? This is crazy. I, I can't believe this book. I'm, I'm enthralled reading this. <laughs> Memories of crying while eating pancakes. <laughs> you guys know this new thing of using the word memories in a poem? Truly bring it about. This is the Illuminati shit. <laughs> Memories of crying while eating pancakes. Painting in Jessica's kitchen. Eating chocolate covered pretzels made by Jessica's mom and playing Tony Hawk 4. Memories of listening to rap while driving a tractor. Going to small nearby towns such as Minden City when I was first getting to know Jessica. Riding in my best friend's car in high school. Kissing my girlfriend and taking off my shirt and throwing it onto her friend's head who was sitting in the room. <laughs> Memories of listening to Hope's fall and crying after breaking up with my girlfriend. How do we live, Stephen? Why does it hurt? Why do I miss everything? 
Anyway, I'm robust. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice literature. You guys know this section of my book is called I'm about the size of a dead nine-year-old. <laughs> now, you can truly see. Now, some of you might have read the book and you're like, I wonder if in person he truly is the size of a dead nine-year-old. Here I am. <laughs> I'm not, wait, will I read that poem? Yes, I will, because I'm dark. <laughs> I'm about the size of a dead nine-year-old in her cool bedroom in September. I am ugly with dead children. It is early September at 7 in the morning. I want to listen to birds outside of my bedroom. I love birds. I love them more than humans. There are also dead bodies hanging from my family's tire stand. <laughs> I'm just going to read a few more. I'm going to read two from this love poem sequence that I have. And then I'll read some other, uh, a couple other things just to end it off quickly. Thank you for coming. For just for me. I know most of you are here just for me, so I appreciate that. I appreciate you sticking around with me. <laughs> I'm sorry I like you better than everything. I want to whisper into your smile. Come watch cops with me. <laughs> you make me need to write love poems. This is I'm done looking for the Bieber tickets for now. I'll come back later. <laughs> this is what I might whisper in the rain. Come over and nap with me, I want you. I sleep like a raccoon in you. I sleep in you like I'm a raccoon somewhere. Do you ever want to climb into a birch tree with me? Somewhere in the bottom of the rain, I want you. I turn you with slow animals. I turn you in the dark trees. I have you with me in the dark trees. I am trying to put you somewhere else in the dark trees, too. I am like the giraffe of you. Wow. I am kissing 25 birds when I kiss you. <laughs> In December, Michigan, there will be a snowbank somewhere of you and me and your warm legs, and I am in between kissing you. Sweet dreams, you are midnight. So thank you, I am deep into the rain of you. Now, as I was reading this poem, I kept looking down, and I'm like, I can see my cheek. What the hell is going on with this? Usually I can't see my own face. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I can't wait to listen to that poem. Now, uh, this is three other tweets that I tweeted one day, but now they're in a book. How do I do it? <laughs> Today I died after an airborne 200 kilogram American black bear smashed through my windshield and out the back window of my SUV. Today I was killed while heating up a lava lamp on my kitchen stove. <laughs> the lamp exploded and a shard pierced my heart. <laughs> Today I was killed after being struck in the face by an airborne fire hydrant while walking. <laughs> nice. I've got this cop this book with me. So if you're interested in the book, reading these things in the book form, then I can hook you up and truly write something in your book. I'll write six 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 and I'll write something that'll shock you. <laughs> Read it later. <laughs>
loud usually. Uh, most YouTube videos. How did I do that? Thank you. <laughs> 